Hello, everybody, and welcome to Next. I'm Amol Fadke, Managing Director Responsible for our Global Telecom Solutions at Google Cloud. And I'm here today to talk about how Google Cloud is partnering with CSPs worldwide to drive growth and transformation for the industry. I'm joined today by Alicia Abella, Managing Director TME for North America and Latin America at Google Cloud. And I've also had the privilege of having Marshall Birkin, Vice President at Tellers, responsible for industry solution and business solution. So let's start talking about what we're going to cover today. Uh, let me talk first about the context of the industry and the background. And we will then get into a little bit of what Google Cloud is doing, working with the CSPs, um, looking at the disruption and transferring them into the growth engine. And then we will also talk about the ecosystem that unlocks the power of partnerships. Before then, letting Alicia and Marshall talk a little bit more about the Telus partners. So with that in mind, let me first start giving you folks a little bit of the background of where we see ourselves in the industry. The communications industry as a whole is really in the middle of epic disruption. And that's not really any exaggeration. The last couple of years with COVID-19 and even in the post-pandemic world that we find ourselves in, it is very clear that everything that we do today, whether it's work, entertaining, socializing, happens on a service provider infrastructure somewhere globally. That has put unprecedented demand on the service provider infrastructure. We believe it's as much as 13 zettabytes of data that's going to flow through service provider by 2025. And that demand also necessitates tremendous amount of investments that need to be put in, $900 billion globally, in just keeping the infrastructure up to meet that demand while getting ready for 5G. Unfortunately, all of that does not translate into very strong revenue growth. In fact, we are seeing very modest revenue growth in the industry as a whole. Further exacerbated by the fact that all customer experience is now digitized in the last couple of years. And it's really at a breaking point with net promoter scores not really doing that well. So in some senses, it's a perfect storm that the industry finds itself in. If you then think through, it's no surprise really that when we speak to communication service provider executives, and you'll hear from Marshall today, the challenges that they highlight to us and the areas that they would like cloud to help them on are very consistent. They're essentially saying six things to us. Number one, how can cloud help them drive revenue and monetize their infrastructure? How can cloud help them completely transform the TCO and move towards a very different customer experience and how they can delight their customer using our capability? How they can create profitable streams of revenue while continuously driving innovation. And then finally, in the post-pandemic world, as much as 40% of the workforce will stay digitized, which means what can they do to enable that workforce, empower that workforce, and drive that workforce towards growth and opportunity. So when you look at these challenges, it is very clear that Google Cloud has to develop a set of products and solutions to turn those challenges into opportunities, which is what we will talk about next. Before I deep dive a little bit into the products and solutions that we have, it's worth talking about the differentiating capabilities that cloud actually brings to this domain. Let me start by calling out our network. Google Cloud has the largest privately owned network infrastructure globally. And it's the same infrastructure that powers not just cloud applications, but applications such as YouTube, Mail, and Search, which means that you get the same learnings of the last two decades that Google has built, and you can apply those to cloud solutions, and you get tremendous benefits uh, using that approach. The second point is the fact that we were the first to recognize that CSP applications in particular were born in a hybrid cloud world, which meant that when we developed Anthos and we launched Anthos a couple of years ago, it was designed with multi-cloud in mind with the ability to have those applications working for CSPs 
on any domain, any cloud platform. When you add to that the fact that we essentially continue to drive tremendous open source innovation through Kubernetes and our contributions to that, you get a sense of the capabilities Google is bringing uh, to this particular domain. A few other things to talk about. We have our analytics portfolio and Google's recognized leadership around the world on data analytics and AI. We are bringing all of that to the CSP domain to create specific solutions. And then our ecosystem simply won't be complete without having very strong partnerships across the board, which I will talk about in a few minutes time, to really complete our overall solutions there. And last, but by no means least, we will also bring the full alphabet suite of capability, whether it's our innovations in Pixel, Chrome, or Android, that are linked to CSP cloud solutions to create a truly differentiated set of capabilities. Which then brings me to the four set of solutions that we are actually working very actively with the CSPs in order for them to address the challenges that I've talked about and drive growth. So let me start with the first pillar, which is monetizing the edge. At Next, you have already seen Thomas announce this week our Google Distributed Cloud set of products. We are very excited with the launch of this uh, premier product set because we believe that this set of products essentially helps tackle the biggest challenge, which is how do we drive revenue and how do we monetize infrastructure at the edge for our CSP partners and clients. And we do this in three ways. Number one, we look at potentially creating industry solutions jointly with our CSP partners, whether it's solutions for retail, whether it's solutions for manufacturing, all taking advantage of distributed cloud products. But also in the consumer space, we look at creating solutions involving gaming applications or AR, VR driven streaming immersive applications as another example of how you could monetize the edge. And then finally, private networks and mobile networks is a very important source of revenue growth, which is also captured by the same set of products that you have seen us launch this week. Second pillar, which is really around customer experience is where we are bringing the AI capabilities that I talked about earlier in order to drive contact center analytics, CCAI, but also in other domains of a CSP business model, such as customer facing data platforms or even network operations and network data platforms to truly create low touch, high value digital experience. The third very important pillar is about modernizing network infrastructure. I said at the beginning, there is tremendous investments going in that infrastructure. And so it is critical that CSPs can drive synergies out of that investments and create a completely different cost model for their network infrastructure as they start getting ready for 5G. In that context, we use our Google distributed cloud set of products alongside Anthos and data analytics to create cloud native network applications which allow tremendous agility, scale, flexibility for the CSPs to start thinking about their infrastructure. And then finally, we use exactly the same principles also on the IT side to modernize core systems and help digitize workforces by offering workspace and some of the other solutions that CSPs really want from cloud. Those in a nutshell are the key products and solutions that we are helping our CSPs, working with them to drive growth opportunities. As I said at the beginning, this set of solutions really will not be complete unless you have a very robust, expansive ecosystem of partners, which is where Google Cloud has invested heavily, especially when it comes to CSP domain. And you can see here whether it's industry ISVs, such as the work we do with Nokia and Ericsson, or technology partners such as Dell and Intel, or edge ISV partners that are working with us to create 5G driven edge industry specific applications, or even systems integrators who are helping us operationalize and bring to market these solutions. This ecosystem is fully onboarded on cloud and this universe continues to expand because we truly believe that unlocks the power of partnership and drives growth uh, for our CSP clients. Talking of our clients, there are several of these that are already on the journey with us. You would have seen announcements earlier this year 
about our strategic partnership with PNT on edge solutions. You would have seen our announcements with Vodafone as an example of how Vodafone is working with us on data. You have seen our announcements in India to create very differentiated experiences for that market. And of course, you have seen the holistic strategic partnership that we announced with Teller covering a number of broad regions. Who better to talk about that than Alicia and Marshall, who are now going to go a little bit more detail into what that partnership means and what we are doing in that collaboration together. So over to you, Alicia. Thanks, Amal, and welcome everyone. I'm Alicia Abella, Managing Director with Telco Media and Entertainment, and I'm joined here today with Marshall Birkin, Vice President of Industry Solutions with TELUS. Welcome, Marshall. Thanks, Alicia. Very nice to be here. So, Marshall, why don't we get right into it? Uh, I have a question for you. What are some of the key challenges and opportunities that you're facing in the telecommunications industry? Yeah, thank you. There's a tremendous opportunity for growth in the telecommunications industry. Connectivity is no longer a luxury, but a basic necessity for people to participate in the digital economy. The industry is also changing at an exponential rate as customer expectations increase, technology is changing, and of course the competition is ever becoming more fierce. If you think back in time, 2G brought us text messaging, 3G brought us the internet, 4G brought us social media and the sharing economy. So of course, we have to ask ourselves, what can we bring to our customers in particular and society in general with a new 5G network that is 10 times faster, five times more responsive and supports a million IoT devices per square kilometer and is ultra reliable. It means we can bring amazing solutions to our communities. We can reduce greenhouse gases with smart traffic systems that leverage video analytics, and we can enable electric autonomous transit systems. We can bring drone technology, soil sensors, and connectivity to farms to help make food supplies safer and more secure. We can enable remote diagnostics and virtual care to help make healthcare more accessible to all. And in the future, we can enable cars to drive themselves. To thrive in our rapidly evolving digital world, telcos must take transformational steps forward. And TELUS is leading the way in this regard, proactively addressing needs for our customers, our communities, and actively participating in ways to drive greater sustainability for our planet. Our goal is to find innovative ways to deliver new value and services that enable remarkable outcomes. As a global leader in the telecommunications industry, TELUS believes in investing in network infrastructure to support the competitiveness of our country and quality of life for our citizens. Through 2024, TELUS is investing $54 billion in infrastructure and operations across Canada. 529 new Canadian communities will have access to TELUS's blazing fast 5G network by end of 2021, covering more than 70% of Canada's population and providing speeds of up to 1.7 gigabits per second. More than three and a half million homes and businesses across our country will be connected to the TELUS Pure Fiber Network. Over the next four years, more than 38,000 job opportunities will be created for Canadians at TELUS and across our partner ecosystem. That's amazing, Marshall. Thank you for that insightful comment and the future is indeed exciting. Why did you decide to partner with Google Cloud and what business problems are you solving together? Thanks, Alicia. Yeah, our, our 10 year strategic alliance with Google Cloud has three key pillars. It'll help propel our digital leadership across key sectors, including communication technology, healthcare, agriculture, security, and the connected home. We are collaborating and co-innovating on evolution of entertainment and smart home technology, bringing state-of-the-art connectivity, control, and convenience to more families and businesses. Together, we aim to redefine the way healthcare and agriculture solutions are delivered, increasing collaboration and efficiency between healthcare providers, providing consumers with fresher and healthier food by improving traceability, and enabling business customers to streamline their IT and network operations. 
The partnership is also helping us accelerate our migration to Google Cloud's platform to drive greater operational efficiency of our core IT and network infrastructure. We are currently in the early stages of this multi-year initiative, which will, which will require continued partnership and thought leadership to be successful. Working with Google Cloud will also further drive our commitment to creating meaningful human and social outcomes. TELUS and Google Cloud will work together to build a more sustainable world through technology by reducing carbon footprint, creating value along the entire supply chain for businesses significantly impacted by COVID-19, and optimizing industry solutions for social impact through data analytics and machine learning. That's great. Thanks for sharing those three pillars with us today. Tell me, um, Marshall, how is Google Cloud helping you to serve your customers better? We've had a long-standing commitment to putting our customers first, and it fuels every aspect of our business. And the partnership with Google Cloud marks an important step forward by redefining how we serve our customers. There are three key things we want to highlight that we believe the partnership with Google will help us improve our customer experience. The first, modernizing our infrastructure. Aligned to move to efficient workflows has consequential effect to improve not just the cost to serve, but also the quality of the customer experience. Customer service evolution via the use of Google Cloud Contact Center AI. This will allow us to anticipate customer needs and proactively provide the right experience based on their unique requirements. It also allows TELUS to drive more of a collective intelligence, focusing human interactions to customer needs and journey where it matters, underpinned by AI-led automation and simplification. And last, Google services and products align to collaboration, productivity, and vertical and industry services and needs that will help address changing and evolving business needs of the market. Fantastic, thank you. Can you share with our audience how Google Cloud helps you capture and understand data in new ways? Yeah, I think we, you know, we certainly recognize the potential of big data, and I'm sure as, as many have, and we want to use it to help answer big questions that will improve the lives of Canadians. We believe that data can also be used to benefit society for social good, when used responsibly to help make better decisions than ever before. Decisions that can improve our lives, our health, our cities, and our society. A great example is our Data for Good program for which TELUS was just named Google Cloud Customer of the Year. Thank you, Google. Data for Good leverages the TELUS Insights platform to provide organizations and governments with real world information needed to make more strategic and informed decisions that help to improve lives and communities. Data for Good provides a platform for governments, health authorities, and academic researchers to access strongly de-identified and aggregated network mobility data free of charge. The program has been instrumental in initiatives to flatten the COVID-19 curve, reduce its health and economic impacts, and contribute to studies that will prevent or mitigate future phases of COVID-19 or any other future uh, unfortunate pandemic. It's important to add that we understand the different uses of data can create new privacy challenges. Part of our commitment in the market is our privacy and security first strategy. Our data trust model, which incorporates the core principles of accountability, ethical use and transparency is incorporated into every decision we make. And we remain committed to those principles. We really appreciate Google's expertise in advanced data analytics and helping us use data in differentiated ways. For example, in TELUS Smart City Strategy, we are focused on helping drive the cities of the future where data allows for more focused development of infrastructure, enhanced safety for citizens, and a drive to more sustainable operations for the city ecosystem. In TELUS Agriculture, the focus is increasing the sustainability, efficiency, production, yields, and delivery for food in various aspects of the agriculture and food value chain. Both examples require access to leading technology and data analytics, addressing complex data management challenges by linking systems together in new ways. Thanks so much, Marshall, for being with us today and for providing those insights and the innovations and priorities of TELUS. We look forward to our continued partnership. Thank you very much.
Amol, back to you. Awesome, thank you, Alicia. So just to summarize, I want to leave us with three things that all of us need to embrace as an industry. Number one, we have to start becoming more data driven. We really need to unlock the power of that data, transform customer experience and make informed decisions. Second, we need to start looking at our network infrastructure in the 5G and post 5G world and really think through everything we described today to modernize them and create cloud native infrastructures for the future. And then finally, we have to start monetizing the edge, looking at distributed cloud and a set of solutions with that in order to truly drive revenue growth and transform the industry uh, from that point. Thank you very much for listening to me. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you and have a great next.